some tips and tricks for using your thermal cinch. Number one, how to prevent excess glue from spilling on the heat element. Trim glue strips about quarter inch away from each end of the spine prior to binding. Wrap a sheet of parchment paper around the books prior to placing them into the binding slot. Parchment paper is also handy for lifting smaller books from the thermal cinch. If there is already spilled glue in your machine, heat up your thermal cinch. Grasp a wet wipe with pliers and run it across the heating element to remove the glue. Do not put your hand into the thermal cinch when hot. Number two, how to prevent loose pages in your books. Make sure not to overfill the spine with too many pages. Tap the pages on a hard surface to align them and use clips to secure. Add the spine close and tight to the pages. Once removed from the thermal cinch, gently tap the spine against a hard flat surface prior to cooling. If pages are still loose after binding, you can repeat the heating process. Number three, how to use clips with the thermal cinch. Use any office clip to secure pages tightly together. They can be clipped on the foredge of the book as well as on the spine. Use the included small gold clip to hold bookmarks or other accessories away from the heating element. Clips can be placed in the thermal cinch. Just be sure the spine is flush with the heating element. Happy bookmaking!